Yo, what's up? Yeah, what's up? Yo, should I stub up a Ganyu, Albedo, a Zhao, Hu Tao, and a Unicorn Farts? Uh, that's a really complicated question. Are you free to play? I ain't spending money on this fucking game. You crazy. Oh, well, what do you want? Uh, like, I just want to be good, you know? So you want me to help you with the summoning path so that you can find out the best possible route for your account based on what you like? Yeah. Dude, that's hard as fuck. You can do it, though, bro. Love you. All right, so I've recorded this video about seven times now. And the reason I've recorded about seven times is because the concept is kind of complicated and I'm gonna be going over it as best I possibly can in this video because it is a very important thing to go over for free to play and budget players so you guys don't allocate your resources inappropriately. This will be helpful for, of course, summoning for different banners and of course, helping you plan out your future progression and what you really wanna do. Let's jump into it. But Seka, you so whale, how the fuck you know about free-to-play? No reason. One of the most obvious things for free-to-play players is the reason you can't summon for things on banners, of course, is you do not have the Primo Gems. It's pretty freaking obvious. If you're a budget player, you got enough for the, you're going to get for the Battle Pass as well as the Welkin. So that's really all you're going to get is the additional, what is that, 2,700 total Primo Gems that you're getting from the Blessing of the Welkin Moon and whatever you get from the overall Battle Pass. So so besides that obvious reason of why you can't summon because, you know, you can't continue to get it. And of course, the way that the pities work, by the way, I'm saving my pity for Zhao because I like I, I was extra five head about this. And I actually stopped like a long ass time ago when I got Mona and I went all the way in on the uh, the banners in between. I was like, yo, I got Mona. So I'm just going to go for the four stars and go all the way up to the almost soft pity. Right. And then stop there and then go to Zhao. So now I get a guaranteed Zhao, which is big pog. Because I was really smart about where I could land for all of my resources going forward, this is going to enable me to progress quickly when I want to do different things and level up the characters I really want to level up and not level up in characters I don't want or don't need. All right, so let's go ahead and go into talents for characters. Now, this is a thing that I went over in my previous video. If you haven't checked it out, is a video that goes over should you as a free-to-play player, budget player, whale player, level your characters to 90 and which characters you should level to 90. It goes over it in full detail. Please watch that video first before watching this video. If you have not, link to that in the description below. It will help you immensely. And of course, a lot of the things that we're talking about in that video, we'll be talking about in this video, so you may get lost if you don't watch it. So many characters that you'll be playing in this game, of course, you're gonna be stopping at level 80 on your overall level up kit. You're actually gonna cap at that point because it makes the most sense. Characters like Venti for support characters where you're not really leveling up their talents past level eight would be a great option unless you really are considering doing it. Uh, characters like Kaya, if you're doing a main DPS build like B because you're a mad lad. Or other characters, you might just want to stop at talent level 6 in general because you just need them to do a little bit of damage to help you with a little bit of reactions and hopefully get a little bit more damage. Now, when you're planning your overall kit going forward, this, vi this video is going to help you decide on where you want to allocate your resin going forward and why you should probably stop summoning for characters. But wait, Seka! I don't want to stop summoning for characters. I want my waifu! Then summon for your waifu or your husbando. No one's stopping you. Just know that if you do summon for your waifu or husbando, you are summoning for being a man or woman of culture, and you're not trying to progress in the game, and you're not trying to build out for bigger people damage. But if you are summoning and you're trying to go for big people damage and make your characters feel powerful, this guide is going to help you out. One of the things you have to know is that when you summon for a character, you're going to spend a significant amount of resources leveling the character, and this is going to slow you down heavily. This video is kind of going to go over exactly how much time and effort you're going to spend leveling those characters so you can speed up your progress. Unless you really want your waifu. Now, what I did for you guys in this video is I actually totaled up the amount of resin cost that it's going to be for getting characters to level 80, 90, leveling up talents, etc. And I'll be going over them right now so you can get an idea of what you can really do in order to slow yourself down or speed yourself up so if you're going to be going to level 80 on any of your characters the amount of resin cost that you're gonna it's gonna be it to level a character to 80 is 1238 total resin to level any character up to 80. now that's a significant amount of resin and the amount of time that it's going to take it's going to be pretty substantial but what that means to me is that you're going to need a total of a week worth of resin in order to level any character in the game up to 80. Now, that means that if a new character comes out every three weeks, that means that as a free-to-play player or a budget player or whatever, you're, uh, any person that's not going to be doing resin refreshes, you're going to need to take a total of uh, one-third of your overall time if you're summoning to, sum uh, to level up the newest character that you get on your account. 
So if you're continuously summoning for characters, just know that every time you summon a new character on your account and you want to level them up to level 80 at bare minimum, that is a grand total of seven days worth of resin. And that's not even including the amount of resin that you're going to need in order to get the crystals for your characters. You're gonna need a whopping total of 384 more resin on top of that before just getting the crystals for your characters so that you can then ascend the characters to level 80, which means that's gonna increase the amount of time that you're gonna have by about three or four uh, about two or three days, which means you're gonna take about nine to 10 days to level up any specific character, which is almost half the time between banners. The banner time frame for any character is there's 21 days between each banner because each banner is three weeks. But if you're spending somewhere between nine to say even 11 days farming resources for a brand new character that means that you're spending half of your time not farming artifacts not farming other things that you need for your characters not farming talent books etc so if you're a free-to-play player please don't summon on every banner ever because if you're gonna summon on every banner ever and you get a new character and you want to level them to 80 that is a ton of time that you are going to be spending of your overall resin time frame on building out a brand new character that means half of your overall week is a half of all time between banners is spent leveling up a new character versus improving the characters that you already have and that's not even including what you would do to level 90 at level 90 that's going to be a whopping ma uh, massive amount of time and if you did want to level any character 90 that's about double the amount of time they're going to spend on any character to get those characters up to 90 which means that you can save yourself about 11 days uh, 10 days every single time you don't level a character to 90 as well. The reason you know that is because it's gonna take a whopping total of 1,402 resin in order to level a character up to 90 and just get their ascension up to 90 from 80 to 90. So if you're not gonna be doing that for specific characters, please stop leveling certain characters to level 80. If you wanna know which characters those are gonna be, link to the video, of course, again, description below. So save yourself some time, save yourself weeks of time and progression so that you can level the characters you really want to and be smart about things. Now, I've also listed, as I said, the talent upgrade costs below. And the talent upgrade costs are also gonna talk talking about talent upgrade materials. Now, this is the second layer of what I wanted to talk about today and why uh, why it's summoning for characters on free-to-play accounts can be really problematic. So for each character in the game, you're gonna require different, of course, books that you're gonna need for leveling up your characters. But one of the things you're gonna need as well is a legendary material to leveling up the talents. And because you're gonna need these legendary materials to level up your talents, these things are going to help you make the characters significantly more powerful. That means that any character past talent level six, you're going to need these materials for, you're gonna also need for talent level 10, a crown of insight for your main DPS characters, which you can have a total of maybe one, two or three down. And if you're gonna be leveling up a character, you have to decide which of the characters based on the, the total amount of talent levels you wanna to give to each character, which characters are the most important to you out of the talent levels to level up first and which talents you want to level up first. Now I have multiple videos on this topic where I go over which talent levels you should go over first, what characters you level up first based on their different characters, etc. And that gets really complicated very quickly. But for the basics, you want to focus up support characters to level 80. Once you get to support characters to level 80, you can either decide if you want to level those characters to talent level eight or keep them at talent level six based upon where you are in the game and if you think it's gonna be a good character going forward. Now, each of the characters that are in this list, of course, take the same exact talent materials. So one of the things I wanted to go over in this video is gonna be talent materials kind of dictate the way that you summon. So if you're gonna be summoning for brand new characters, the most recent uh, talent materials that comes out, of course, are the ones that, are, that have just arrived for the Child Banner, as well as the Zhongli Banner and the Albedo Banner. So all of these three banners, of course, have talent materials that are very similar for the characters. And when the Zhongli banner dropped, you had to choose between level eight talents for Zhongli or Albedo. And the same thing is going to be true going forward for the brand new characters that are going to be coming out, which are going to be Zhao as well as Ganyu. Now, Ganyu and Zhao take the Shadow of the Warrior talent material. So you have to decide between the two characters which one you want to level up. On my free-to-play account, I'm going to be leveling up Zhao's talents and getting all his talents to maximum as quick as I can and giving my Ganyu talents potentially on another character. What I'm actually going to be doing on my free-to-play account is skipping the Ganyu banner entirely. And the reason I'm skipping the Ganyu banner entirely is because I want to focus all my resources on different things. 
So the reason talent materials are so important to dictating where you're going to be in your summons is because you're only going to get so many talent materials going forward for each of the characters, and you're going to need to stop at a certain point on certain characters in order to maximize their overall kit. Now, if you are going to be stopping at level 80 on your overall cost, you are going to save yourself a significant amount of resin. Now, the amount of resin that you're going to say uh, at level 8 for any of your talents is only going to be about 167 resin for the overall cost to level up a talent to level eight. And that's gonna include, of course, the total two talent materials that you're gonna need for talent level eight, which is only a maximum of, a, say, two weeks, depending on how lucky you get or unlucky you get. But if you can level up two abilities or three abilities, that jumps to about uh, 335 all the way up to 500, which means you can go one, two, or three days total of resin. But when you take these same talent materials and you go up to level 10, the amount of cost triples in the amount that you're going to need. And you're going to need a total of 550 total resin at level 10, 1100 at level, uh, uh, going up with two different abilities level 10, and finally 160, 1,652 for the total resin cost for leveling up three separate talents at level three. But a lot of people want to level up their Mona and on a banner and maybe reroll for Kaching. You've gotten your Deluke maxed out and you want to use those for you want to level up your Tartagles. And you, of course, maybe you want to level up Klee because you like blowing things up. I don't know where you are in the game, but I can tell you that having a character with really high talent levels is so much fun. But if you want to spread your resources around to multiple characters, you can do that as well. And that's the reason that you should probably stop at talent level 8 and a lot of characters and stop at level 80 on those same characters. Now, I know this table gets kind of confusing at times, but apparent, but essentially, the way it boils down is you're going to need a shitload of Mora as well on top of this in order to get yourself done. So the total amount of resin that you're going to need, including all the things that you need, is this total part, part down here. And this is the total amount of resin that you're going to save if you are w wanting to stop any of your characters at level 10, is a level 8 talents. If you're going to stop any characters at level 8 talents and stop them at level 80, then you're going to save yourself 10 days worth of resin per ability. 10 days of resin if you're just leveling up one of their abilities and so more than two weeks worth of resin otherwise. And if you're spending all your time farming out new characters and farming out talent materials, weapon ascension materials, etc., when are you going to farm your artifacts? When are you going to try to build out your account appropriately? Now, the amount of time it's going to take to, for any character or any person to get a god roll artifact is excessive. I actually have really crappy arts. Like on my main DPS, I, right now, I actually have really crappy arts, and I've been trying to get better arts on all my characters, but I've been trying to upgrade them, and as you can see, I really don't have the best artifacts, and I do need to improve them based on getting the better substat rolls. Now, it's going to take a large amount of time to get those artifact rolls, so what I'm going to need to do is spend a lot of my resin on those artifacts in order to get myself more artifact XP, so I have more attempts at getting better artifacts. If you don't want to do that, and you want to focus all your efforts on summoning for new characters, just know that's probably the reason that you personally do not have resin in order to get good artifacts. One of the most common things that I hear in my comment section, which is such a weird thing to hear, is I'm free to play, I don't have good artifacts. When free to plays should have a really decent amount of artifacts at this point because you should have a couple characters that are pretty well kitted. But if you're continuously summoning on banners, continuously leveling up new characters, working on new characters all the time, instead of focusing on one character or multiple characters while farming artifacts, well, that's probably where a lot of your time is going, where a lot of your resin is going, and why it's a little bit harder for you to progress. So in conclusion, based on the math that you can see here, if you are a free-to-play player, a budget player, someone who's not spending their Primo Gems or their money on resin refreshes every single day, what I definitely recommend for you guys is to stop summoning on every single banner, to stop trying to level every single unit, worry about the characters on your account that you really want to improve, plan out your summons a little bit more accordingly, and spend your time more efficiently so that you can progress in the game and have a great time on the most powerful characters in your account, and then save your resources for better characters. Now, for some of you, I know this video was kind of obvious and it kind of hit the nail on the head because you already know that you should save your resources for specific characters and save for the characters that you really want to play. And it seems like a very, very big nutshell thing, but I wanted to give you the exact numbers of what it would cost for any character. So, so, so that any player, if they're looking to level up somebody and wanted to figure out how much time it's going to take going forward to level up a character, what it's going to talk to summon for a character, etc., this gives you a better idea. 
My name is Sekapoko. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, of course, like, subscribe, all the fun stuff, and you have a great rest of your day.